I think I'll show you that much to start with the grip because on the end of this shaft is what I think is arguably the best driver of 2021 for most average golfers. But even when I tell you what it is, you won't be able to buy one. So if you're looking for the longest driver out there right now, you'll probably stop watching this video because that isn't this. But it's definitely the one that finds the most fairways. It's definitely the one that's the most playable. But my only concern is no matter how much positivity I give to this club in this review, my main worry is I doubt very much you've got any chance of buying one. So this driver has been around, well, it's been around a couple of years. There's been two models in the last, like I said, two or three years. And it's been very, very popular from my perspective in terms of the reviews. And there's one thing again, like I said, I'm going to drive, keep driving home that disappoints me so much in just availability. But what it does is a shorter length shaft is the first clue. It's a smaller head that is a second clue. And yeah, I know you're starting to get it. But the big deal for me is the fact that, and I'm hiding it again, it finds fairways. And no matter how many times or how often I pick it up or go back to it, the first thing that I start to do is find fairways. It's not the longest, but it finds the middle and I've got greater control. And for me, I go back to the first statement I made for average golfers. This to me is the perfect driver for most of us. Right, so before I annoy too many of you because you don't like these guessing games too much and you've already got it based on the last clues, that shorter shaft and smaller head and it's a 300cc head or 306cc head. It is, of course, the tailor-made mini driver. In terms of its design this year, which was a, a new model, then they changed the sole a little bit. That was a bit of a throwback to an older model. The crown looks absolutely superb for my mind. It's the best finish in terms of a tailor-made driver at address thin gloss black line at the front of the club and that sort of muted matte finish on the crown looks absolutely superb in a dress why is it so popular and why is it so difficult to get hold of that's the big question i've got more for tailor made but also maybe for you i spoke to someone a few weeks back who asked me a question about getting hold of one of these mini drivers and they said they tried everywhere and i'm talking about any avenue that you can go down to try and get these in terms of ebay golf bidder not a chance in hell could you get one of these mini drivers so the question i want answering from you is are you interested in this driver are you still interested in it have you tried to get one do you know of any availability and the second question and unlikely that Taylor made are going to give us an answer is why are these on such short supply? Even when they came out, there was such limited availability. I know retailers were only allowed, I think, a couple of uh, each product in stock, 13 and a half, 11 and a half degree heads. They're sold out before they even arrive on the shelves. So Taylor made, why do you not make more mini drivers? That's pretty much as good as I've got. And the question that I always get asked in the comments is, or the comment that's made is, well, why not just use a three wood? 13 and a half degrees of loft is effectively, you could get a strong lofted three wood. You could also get the same length of shaft. So I understand in those two logics why the question might be asked. But for me, when I've got these two clubs at address, I've got 300 cc head, or I've got something like a 175 cc three wood. For me, as an average golfer, the bigger the club behind the ball, the more confidence it gives me. It also allows me with that 300cc to tee that ball up high. And again, I think most average golfers prefer to have that high tee position. Again, just gives them a little bit more confidence to think that they can get that ball airborne. So before I get asked the question, there's my answer. Much more favorable for those two reasons alone to have the bigger driver head and still that same length of shaft and I think you're still overall getting longer distances than I would achieve with that smaller head. And obviously there's a bigger face, more room for error. Earlier on in the video, I said that a uh, mini driver gave me more confidence at address than a uh, three wood did purely by the size of the head. When you see these two drivers together, so a 460cc head, then you would arguably say, and well, in that case, 
you'd surely prefer to use the bigger head of the driver. But for some reason for me, it then flips around a little bit because I'm always kind of old school in terms of driver head size, what I was used to. So somehow again, what sort of really suits my eye in particular is that 300cc head. And I just love the fact that it's, uh, it's got a bit of bulk and mass, so it gives me confidence. But it's not overly bulky like the 460cc drivers can be at times. And the other thing just to note, and again, Anne, I don't know whether you can just get that on camera, we've probably got two inches in terms of driver shaft length that's different. So when you stood at a dress, there's a huge difference in control. And for me, if I just put the mini driver down for a little while, just again, distance between club head, my hands, and how far I'm stood away from the ball, all of a sudden, this head seems to be well, a lack of control is gotten, and then you switch into the mini driver, and I'm just, again, whether it's visible on camera, I'm so much closer to the ball, two inch shorter shaft only, but it seems to make a massive difference at address. And again, it's all about confidence. But the fact is, can I find a fair way with it out here in reality? That's just a little, Cut off the left, which uh, we've seen from the indoor footage that I hit earlier. That's my sort of favoured shot. And again, loads of control with this, feel like I can do it. And on a whole that really, again, favoured a little bit of right to left, I suppose. I'm almost encouraged to take that one on as well if I was feeling confident in my game off the tee. Not something I'd really look to do again with a sort of full headed driver. So my summary is, uh, as ever it's been in the two reviews that I've done on this previously, it is by far the best driver for average golfers that is out there, in my opinion. And I think that, I've already said many times on this video, why you can't get hold of this thing more uh, easily, I do not know. But I suppose then you're looking at shorter length shaft for your driver, again, which I'm a big, advocate of and I do think it's a massive massive help to average golfers and certainly for me I'm going to take it a bit more serious next year in terms of playing a driver for the year I flit in and out and this sort of is a typical example of a driver that I play quite frequently but if I was choosing if I was buying a driver to stick in the bag if it wouldn't be this and I was looking to get hold of a, one of the newer drivers let's say it would be with that shorter shaft in without doubt because the benefits that I've seen in terms of finding the middle the greater control that I've got and the greater confidence that I've got certainly makes it the best golf the best driver for average golfers in my opinion that's out there right now right as ever thanks for watching I'm happy with that. We've got um, another three wood in on this par five. Flick with a wedge, walk off with birdie. That's the theory anyway. Right, see you all soon.